Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a very cool workflow that allows you to change the background of an image, which is very useful if you want to change the background of a product or an image of a person. This method is, is very simple and it is quite effective. I've been working on that since a few days now and I finally get the proper workflow to allow you to do that. So if you are interested in this type of art, please make sure to follow all my tutorial steps and without further ado let's dive into tutorial before we continue further you need to install some additional file since we are working with control net and ip adapter you can use the link on the description to install the necessary file for the control net first of all download this control net depth here after that go to your comfy wire root folder go to model search for control net and just place your model here after that you can use the link for the IP adapter github page and you can install all the necessary file for this workflow you don't have to download all the file of the IP adapter I just use the clip vision model here and place it under comfy while model clip vision and I also use the IP adapter as the Excel bit H. Once it is downloaded, go to model, search for IP adapter. Here it is and place your model here. If you can find this IP adapter folder, so you will have to install the IP adapter using the GitHub code. Make sure to copy this code here, go to your Comfy UI, then enter Comfy UI the mouse here on the search bar type in cmd then write git clone and paste your code here it will install automatically all the necessary file and the folder for the comfy for the ip adapter okay now we can we are good to go so now let's talk about the workflow that allows you to create your image background replacement it is a very simple one. We have here our checkpoint loader, our load image that we're gonna use to change the background. And here we have two main groups the control net group and the IP adapter group. We're gonna start with the control net group, which is mainly composed of imagery size, the depth anything preprocessor of the image, and the apply control net alongside with the depth as the Excel control net we also have a workflow that allows us to create a mask for that i'm gonna use the bria ai for background removal and i'm gonna invert that mask and use it for the embedding process i'm gonna show it to you right now how this works here we have two key sample the first one is gonna be used to create the background image for our product then the IP adapter gonna be used to blend it with the first image that we created the mask on. And here we have the image compare that we, that's gonna compare the two image. I also added an upscale nodes if you wanna upscale your models, but for now I'm, I am not gonna use it. Okay, let's try out our first image and see how it is working. The first time you, you're gonna launch it, it's gonna take some time, but after that, it's gonna be more quickly. Also, using mm, Turbo Model for the, this process, which is the Reality Edge as the Excel Turbo Model, but you can use other models and obtain different results. Here we have our depth map, and here we have our mask which is going to be inverted since the mask cleaning up the object. Now we have created our background image and the IP adapter is going to be used to create to add the style of image into the background. Here our new image that's compared with the old one and you can clearly see the difference. This method is very effective since we don't have any pure image around the, the object in question. And it can work with any type of resolution. 
let's do another try you can see that it's this prompt here and place it over here if you want to change the background you can only work with this clip text prompt that is link it with the IP adapter and the first key center. For the other one, I only added some additional prompt text in order to make it to have a good quality. Let's click to prompt again and wait for the results. And here we have our second trial. You can see the created image for the STXL for the IP adapter. And here we have our final results. You can see that everything around the object changed completely and without having artifact or blur effect on the image. Okay, you can also play with the weight of the IP adapter if you don't like this background. You can change it by increasing the weight here. Let's try it out. I'm gonna change it to 0 0.7 and see what we got. We can also see here that I'm using a very low CFG scale and very low steps due to the STXL turbo model. Here we have our here we have another results. You can see that the weight can also influence the final results. So some of you in the comment on the my Reddit page ask me about the IP adapter influence on this final results. Here we're gonna try it out together by disabling this probe, right click and click on set group to network ok, now it is disabling we're gonna click the prompts oh, I need to plug the model here let's click to prompt and see the results you can see that nothing is happening here we only have small reflection here and small uh, color change on the background so maybe we can try to play with this prompt here use the same prompt we just copy and paste it and do another try and we have the result you can see that the table changes however the background was not completely changed by this uh, and personally I like it more with the IP adapter it gives me better results okay let's enable this notes and let's change the image let's use this bicycle over here and see the results as you can see we have clear background removal here using the Bria AI here you can see the result without IP adapter group, it is not completely working. Let's wait for the result with the IP adapter group. Here we have our IP adapter version. You can see that the background changes, but we have also this change over here. This can be clearly fixed by decreasing the weight of the IP adapter. Let's try out 0 0.4 and see the results. We can also observe that this image here is not changing because we have changed the control after generate to fixed. If you want to use the same prompt with different image, make sure to change the fixed to randomize. Okay, let's wait for the, this second image. Here you can see that we obtain a different results. Okay, good. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please make sure to push the like button for me. You can also watch my other video on Stable Diffusion Company UI. And make sure to stay tuned for my next tutorial. So thank you.